cups in a cup. Hi, we're Alan and Samantha from sunny Arizona, USA. We're addicted to traveling and exploring new countries and enjoy documenting our memories along the way. Join us as we take an off-season road trip exploring the country of Ireland. We just got up. You can tell that this is how I woke up. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Today we are doing the Ring of Kerry. So, come on. So, we're on the Ring of Kerry. And, I don't know if you see this fence, but I'll show you in a second. We're in like a little castle thing. They made this fence so you can't come up here, but they made it so if you're a little monkey, you can. So, come up here. Come up to this old castle, lighthouse, dealio bob here. Flying the drone. But, got this view out here. Sam's down there. Yeah, this place is pretty sick. We've been driving the Ring of Kerry for like an hour and a half. I haven't really found too many places to stop and then we just saw a sign and we're like, let's stop at this one. There's this little castle. It was cool. The fact that you can get up here, this makes it the best part. It's already getting late. Like, I feel like the sun's already going down and it's still, I think, I don't think it's noon yet. It might be close. It gets dark at like four o'clock here. All right, but now I'm gonna get down, probably go back in the car. And then we're gonna finish the Ring of Kerry. This is the moat that we had to cross to get to our castle. Why does it smell so bad? It smells like ass cheeks. Oh, dang. I got you this. Oh, cool. It's a crystal. I'm a crystal girl. Back to the car. Yeah, this lookout is actually pretty sick. Um, Very peaceful. Yeah, we're running out of daylight. I think we only Let's have go. like an hour and a half left. Ring and Carrie's like an hour left. So I don't think we're going to make it very far tonight. Tomorrow is Dingle. Dingle Berry. Oh, wow. That's what I said. Not Berry, but it's Dingle. Okay, but it's time to go. It's the Ring Oh, my God. So... We just drove like another hour and a half since like the last time. Pull out the camera and Sam and I both got car sick at the exact same time for no reason. I think you need to call a hospital truck. Kind of wondering if it's the BLT sandwich that we had. Well, there and was a lot of windy roads. There was, but we don't get car sick. It's so strange. I get car sick all the time. I don't ever. And Not like this. So now we're at this place called Torque Waterfalls. Thank God we needed a break because I'm about to throw up. And now I'm freezing, which is amazing, honestly, because I'm thinking about being cold instead of thinking about throwing up. So that's awesome. But aside from that, this is Torque Waterfall, I guess. Cool little trail that you can see behind us. Thank God it's a 200 meter walk from the car to this waterfall. I've seen a lot of waterfalls. This one's this one's pretty badass. This is a good one, for sure. I like it. All right, waterfall is pretty cool, but it's really cold. Head back to the car. 
we don't know where we're sleeping tonight. It's getting dark. I don't know about all that, but yeah. So we just got to our hotel in Dingle, is what it's called. Not Dingleberry, just Dingle. It's actually a bed and breakfast, we think. Not really sure. If you didn't know, I found both of them. She's over here with a stick trying to pull the shades down. There's, well, what's this for? there's a button there. I think it has to open the window. Oh, you're welcome. I figured out how to close the windows. Nice. Well, now it's dark in here. Cool. Okay. Well, now it's time to watch some trash TV. So, peace out. The next melding. We just got up, and last night I think I got sick. We didn't sleep very well at like 2.30. I don't know if people are coming back from the bars or something, but the doors are open and closing and slamming. people are waking up for the day. Yeah, we looked at our phones and we were like, oh, it's probably 6 o'clock or something. And it was 2. It was like 1.50. But, something like that. Now, we're getting ready. Still in my chonies. It's, uh, it was hailing outside. It's going to be cold. Today, we're exploring the Dingle Peninsula. But first... Breakfast. We're now driving the Dingle Peninsula. Stopped at like a little lookout point. And it's so pretty right here. It looks like when you, you know, see the puzzle of Ireland, the colors, this is exactly what it looks like, especially with the sky out here. Sam went to go take a picture of some sheep. She's very interested in the sheep. They're like climbing up the mountains. Oh my god, they literally are just climbing up this mountain. That's crazy. But yeah, this peninsula drive is very cool. The off season is actually very sick because I have not seen another car yet. The moon, everywhere, I don't think you can see it, but all day, every day in Ireland, I feel like we've seen the moon. The moon's been up right there. Man, this is very cool though. We're supposed to just see uh, the Dingle Peninsula today, do the drive, and then we are going to do. Um, Cliffs of Moor, Mar, whatever it's called. I've heard people pronounce it both ways. These sheep are crazy. I saw all these sheep coming at me. They want to be my friend. These sheep, they're like very smart. They went up the mountain here and they know that there's a hole in the fence right there. I think they saw humans and they thought that we were their herders or something. They're like, oh, we better get back. <laughs> That's crazy. They're all spray painted though. I'm sure there's a very specific reason, but all, the ones we're looking at here are spray painted blue. Maybe that's because they're going to make blue shirts out of them. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> 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 This does not really feel like Ireland. I mean, maybe. The green, I guess. Not really. Lots of green. But yeah, this is crazy. Like, this is the road that we drove down. To this beach. It's not my birthday. I'm still 29, baby. I'm in my 20s. 29. Still 29. I ain't never gonna be 30. That's old as dirt. There's a rainbow. I also think it might be snowing. No. Weird. This is the coldest I have been on this trip though. It's pretty cold. It's got to be negative three. Oh, where's our phone seat? Alright, well. No, there is... I need mittens. Snow. Look at this view. Yeah, look at this. It's only 43 minutes. Look at this view. Oh my god. 
Okay, yeah, 43 degrees with 80 mile an hour winds makes it 10 mile an hour or 10 degree weather. What? <coughs> Six miles like per hour. Nine. Yeah. That's bullshit. I gotta put my hands back on talking. <laughs> this place is called Connor Pass. So this is one side. Obviously it's a pass, so it's a mountain. And then over on this side, fast fast forward. <laughs> So as you can see, both sides have a very cool and unique view. And you can see like the smoke coming over. <laughs> of more mar cliffs of more Okay, just flew my drone, a little concerned. I was very worried because I've gone through like half a dozen of them and I don't necessarily have the best luck with them. Especially in windy areas. Especially in windy areas and this is incredibly windy, but it's a little cold. Sam's hands are, burning. are red as hail. She's got gloves in the car and didn't bring them. But Klisamaher, more, whatever, they're pretty cool. I like it. Ooh, look at sheep. Randolph. Randolph. Hey, there's a view in front of me. Okay. I'm starting to think the off season is the bomb for everything. Yeah, it, it does go hard. Uh, there's no tour buses here. There was like five when we got here, which there's like parking spaces for like 40 or 50. But there wasn't even like the amount of people that you would expect. Like they were definitely not full tour buses. No, there's, I mean, there's, you can see behind us, there's nobody here. I mean, there's definitely, I would say there's probably a hundred people here, but it's so big that it's spread out. You don't really see anybody. It's perfect. It's very pretty. It's very similar to Seseda in Italy, um, where it's got like that grassy hill and then it just cuts off. We made it back to the car park. <laughs> is this what they call it? It is what they call it. Oh yeah, check this dent in the door. I don't know if I showed you. Oh, did I? Yes. We got the insurance, so they can go to hail. We didn't do that though. Well, Sam's not sure if it was there when we got it, but we didn't do it regardless. But might have happened to the car. We are leaving. Clisamar though, we honestly have no idea where we're going. We're gonna sit in the car right now and determine where we're staying tonight and what the plan is. So that'll be fun, it gets dark in 30 minutes. These roads in Ireland suck at night. So uh, wish us luck. So we left Clisamar. We drove like an hour and a half to a place called Galway. We checked into a bed and breakfast and now we found a Christmas market thing. Christmas. 
What do we find? A Christmas market. So we're still at the Christmas market, and we played, uh, I don't know, it's called Flip Your Santa or something. Yeah, you have to make him into the chimney. That was one of the most unique uh, carnival games I've ever seen. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We lost. We did not win. We did not win. Loser. We're new to that one. I gotta go home and study that one. But this Christmas market is actually really cool. Kinda worked out. That's actually delicious. Hot Give me that. Let me try. Wine. You don't like it? It's all right. What it like? What is it? Just hot mold wine. It's not bad. Jingle, jingle oh, I might help with my sickness. Yeah. Nice jingle juice. So we just got back from the Christmas village thingy. Christmas uh, market. Christmas market. No. Now it's time for sleepy time soon. It's only like 7 o'clock. 7.30. 7.30, which is insane. It feels so late. It's almost your birthday. We're it's... gonna be asleep. Sorry, I can't stay up till midnight. Tomorrow we're gonna head to a chill island. I don't think that's how you say it, but that's how I like saying it. But uh, yeah, bye. So we're actually at Keem Beach, K-E-E-M. Apparently, what do they do here? I just read something that there's lots of sharks here. That's what they caught one that cost, or that weighed 365 pounds. For its oils. For its oils. Sharks are my number one biggest fear. Uh, but this beach is really cool. It's very pretty though. Very, very pretty. When we pulled up, there were zero people here. Now there's like, Eight or nine people here. But still, I don't know. We're all spread out. It's very cool. But now we're headed to Mayonnaise to our hotel, I guess. That's an hour and a half away. Love that. Love that for us. Sam found a cave, sort of. Very, very cool beach. It's like you gotta drive down a mountain to get to it. Also just realized the hotel that we booked is an hour and a half away. We thought we were like 10 minutes away. No, now we're staying at mayonnaise. <laughs> we're not staying in a <coughs> we're, we're not, not staying in a chill, we're staying in mayonnaise. Yeah, we're staying in mayo. It's so annoying when you like Google hotel, um, a okay. chill, and then it'll pull up, you know, 25 results. The second result I booked and it's 60 kilometers from a chill. So annoying. That's what happens when you let him book with a fever. Yeah, that was my bad. It's all right though, it'll be all right. Just wondering why it was so cheap. It was like half the price of everything else. You said that so many times too. Like you knew this was gonna be something. I knew there had to be an issue. <laughs> but we're gonna move on now. It's a little chilly. Sam's gonna break her neck on these rocks. Unfortunately, this is the last thing that we recorded on our Irish road trip. I got sick later this day, and we decided to just kind of put the camera away and kind of enjoy our last day in Ireland before we flew home. If you
you like this video, please drop a like. Sure wouldn't hurt us any. Uh, if you want to see some additional videos, subscribe. I'm sure there's more to come eventually. But for now, thanks for watching.